everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the bandwagon tag, and this is a tag created by Not Entirely Human TV, and I was tagged by Aaron over at Rats Queen, and I'll put a link to both of their channels in the description down below. Um, it's a series of tag questions. I had my notes here, so I may be uh, looking down from time to time, and also I have piles of books all around me, so I apologize for kind of disappearing on you from time to time. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first question is, which bandwagon have you not jumped on yet, but are looking forward to? And that would have to be a book one in the Caster Chronicles and the Immortal Instrument series. Um, both of these have movies coming out. It seems like you know, everybody's read them. They sound like they're really, really good. And I've, I've seen some trailers, at least for this one. And I would like to read both of these, or at least get started in these series before the movie comes out or before I see the movie. So yeah, that's definitely a bandwagon I want to jump on. Number two, uh, which is your favorite bandwagon you have jumped on? Um, without doubt, the Harry Potter series. Um, there were several, I think there was like the three books were out before I finally um, decided to pick them up and see what the heck all the hoopla was about. And uh, so glad I did. Just amazing, amazing series. Number three, uh, which is the worst bandwagon you have jumped on? Of all the books I picked up, I wouldn't say anything was um, really a bandwagon or that it was bad. Uh, probably the only one I can think of is one I haven't jumped on, just because I, I just can't get myself to do it. That would be the Twilight series. Um, I apologize to all you Twilight fans. Uh, I, saw, I just saw the first movie, and yeah, that was enough to make me not want to see anymore. I even tried watching the second movie, and I got like a... 10 minutes in and I thought, oh god, no, I can't, I can't do it. Maybe the movies are just really bad and the books aren't so bad, but I just can't get myself to pick up that series, so I don't know. Uh, number four, which author or authors of a trilogy, series, duology do you respect the most and why? Um, well, the obvious one, um, J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter. Um, my other two favorite authors, uh, Jasper Ford from the Thursday Next series, Kim Harrison from the Hollow series, um, and uh, I could add more, let's see, <laughs> Michael Grant from the Gone series, and also, more recently, uh, Neil Shusterman's Unwind trilogy. Uh, the first two books are out in this one. Just basically those authors, because they've created such amazing worlds and characters, and it just everything just seems to work perfectly. Every book seems really good. There's no, like, a filler, you know, like, a, sometimes books just seem to be a stepping stone to the next in the series. Each one is relevant to the storyline and just really grabs your attention. Um, Neil Schusterman, I, I included just because of a really unique dystopian world he created and this whole idea of unwinding, as creepy as it is, was just amazing. Um, so yeah, I have to pick those mostly. Um, although there's so many I'd love to add to the list. Uh, number five, why do bandwagons create such divided opinions? I think it's because when someone first comes across a title of a book, or a series, and starts reading it, and the word gets out, you know, they enjoyed it, they thought it was great, you know, it's like, oh yeah, this is like one of my top books, you know, it's just excellent. And the more and more people that put out these types of reviews, and you hear about them, you're thinking, wow, this book's getting excellent reviews, in your mind, you're starting to put it, like, higher and higher and higher. Even though the person said, oh yeah, it's great, you're thinking, oh, all these people are saying it's great. So by the time you get to it, you have such high expectations for a title. And then you read it, and although it may be really good, it's not as excellent as you thought it was going to be because you've put it kind of in your mind up here now. And so then you get this kind of uneven balance of people saying, well, I thought it was going to be excellent, you know, and it's just, it's good, but not as good as everyone seems to be claiming. Well, they were just claiming it was good. You're like multiplying that. So I think that kind of creates that uneven balance to it. We kind of just put it a little higher up on a pedestal on our heads. Um, Number six, how many trilogies, series, or duologies have you read, and what are they? Um, okay, I'll be digging through here. Uh, I try to gather them all up, and I, and I was only using the ones that, like, I've completed, not the ones I'm still in the middle of. So, um, we had the Harry Potter series, the Hunger Games trilogy, Anna Dressed in Blood duology, the uh, Maze Runner trilogy, there's the Inside Out duology. Um, I've also read, I forgot what this is, Madison Avery, I believe, this is a series. This is a trilogy by Kim Harrison, her young adult series. 
And there's the Incarceron uh, duology. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and the Ripple trilogy. I have that only as an ebook, so I don't have physical copy to show you. So, so that's about eight that I can think of. Um, yeah, the rest I'm in the middle of gazillion series and duologies, etc. Uh, okay, number seven. Um, which books in a recent trilogy, series, duology are you most looking forward to reading? Um, well, first up on my list is The Woman Who Died a Lot. This is, I believe it's number seven in the Thursday Next series. Uh, Scarlet, second book um, in the Lunar Chronicles. Uh, Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi. Uh, I forgot what the series is called. Um, uh, uh, well, whatever the series is called, but that's book two. Um, Lish McBride's Necromancing the Stone. This follows uh, Hold Me Closer, Necromancer. This is book two. This is an excellent series. I'm looking forward to the next, the third book in this uh, Unwind trilogy. I, nothing announced yet, but dying for the next one in that. Um, also, the second book in the Partial Sequence by Dan Wells. This is called Fragments. Lord knows there's numerous other ones, but those are the ones that I currently have, like, right around me, um, kind of ready to go eventually. Uh, number eight, of all the bandwagons you have jumped on, which have been the most difficult to read? Probably the ones I haven't actually started yet, and that would be the Classics bandwagon. Um, I said that myself at the beginning of January, like, reading resolutions. I wanted to read more classics. It seems like everybody's been saying that this year. Um... I just, I, there's a lot of titles that I've, you know, heard about, even through school, too, that I never had to read, but I was always curious about them. I hear people talking about them, and I've wanted to read them. I even have several of them at home. I've got Jane Eyre, got Wuthering Heights, um, a couple other ones I've got upstairs. I just haven't picked them up and started them yet for some reason. I mean, there's so many other titles I want to read, and those are easier to read in a way, because not like that archaic language. Sometimes it slows you down, so... I keep pushing them to the side, so I'd have to say those have been the ones most difficult to read just because I haven't yet started them. <laughs> uh, number nine, if you could write your own series of books, what would they be about? Um, would that I could be a writer, uh, but I would probably choose something along the lines of a dystopian or a post-apocalyptic, just because those seem to be the the genres that, I, that most appeal to me. Um, I love the interesting worlds people create and the kind of creepy dystopian societies and things like that. So I would love to be able to create something like that. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, number 10, and the final question, which is the bandwagon you would read over and over? Um, I'm digging again, sorry. <laughs> well, the ones that I have read over and over again, obviously, of the Harry Potter series and the Jasper Four Thursday Next series, which you've heard me talk about a lot and a lot. And Comparison Hollow series. I just enjoy the characters so much in the world building. And, yeah, I could read those over and over and over again. So that's the bandwagon tag. Um, I'm going to tag some new people that I haven't tagged before. And because of that, I can't quite remember their channel names and everything. So I'll either be putting them in the credits following this video or in the description bar down below. So check it out and see if you've been tagged. And if I haven't tagged you, don't worry. Feel free to do it. Jump on the bandwagon and do the bandwagon tag. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.